And the presentation is open for discussion. I just have a conceptual question, so overall. So you kind of said that if you're in a ground state of, uh, in a parasite uh, area, right? So then your electron stays there forever, right? Is it really not, true? Probably not forever. Okay. Likely. What is kind of quantum processes we know should, should, should happen even if the barrier is high? If it's not infinitely <laughs> large, then what happens with the electron? Inevitably, inevitably it will move. It will widen out the tunnel, distance. Right? Tunnel yeah. through the barrier. But uh, this process is just goes very, very slow. The mm -hmm. probability is very, very slow, uh, small, right? right? So that's why it's not like it's forever be there. It still probably will tunnel, but you probably need to wait weeks to see yeah. this uh, some, something appearing <laughs> at the other side of your barrier. Yeah. More questions? Okay, everyone is happy. Um, you said that when it goes, um, so you said that you apply negative and positive field, can you explain? And you also said excitation, but you didn't mean light excitation. It was not excited with light. Oh, sorry. What, so what kind of field? And what is negative positive? I actually know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, for the applied field, they will apply it actually by that. What kind of field? An electric field. Okay. Applied electric field to the conductor, semiconductor. Um, but then within our code, we were able to excite the eigenstate conditions of the electron. But what does it mean, positive or negative? So you apply as a positive or negative voltage, in other words, right? Yes. But uh, did you show what happens if you apply negative voltage? That would be this image, this, these videos here, and then the first set, these are a positive voltage. I want to say it was 0.05 and negative 0.5. Just verbally describe how What's the difference? potential if you plus or changes for positive and negative voltage, or positive and negative field. Just verbally describe how the potential changes. One slide forward. Yes. Because and there, there are three potentials. This field and uh, field of opposite science. science. Can you just um, verbally describe what's the difference in this thick uh, black curve? Because they look very similar. Yeah. So the primary difference that we see is actually on this left side. There's not shouldn't be a change to the typing and accepting agent. But but this is with which field? This is this field, right? Yeah, so this example is with no field. Okay. And then when we apply the negative field is on this side. Oh, I'm sorry. Negative field is on this side. Um, and we and we on that side going, is going. on that side is your titanium, right? Yes, the titanium is all the way over. And on that side is your dye? Yes. Okay, so then what happens with the potentials plus minus? As the potential goes negative, our dye potentials become less uh -huh. defined and broader, whereas when we have a positive, it becomes more narrow and more noticeable. Yeah, and for titanium, it's a backward behavior. Yes. So that's that's probably explains why you why you notice it goes either right or left. Yeah. Because you're really low in the barrier, either on the left side or the uh, right side. Huh. Can can you go to your uh, equation slide? It seems you, you were addressing the, yeah. the second equation. Yes. So your potential under electric field is getting constant constant slope, where mu is your position at the radar. Right? So depending on the sign of the field, you, you get positive or negative uh, additional component. Good. Um. Question. Um, I'm wondering what are the parameters that go into the simulation. And for example, I mean, for every semiconductor, I say the Bangkok value is one of the values. So, what you are showing does it depends on, let's say, the Bangkok value of dark sky and titanium dioxide? Does it depends on any intrinsic properties of the material at all, or is this very general that can be applied to any material? That's a good question. I didn't look into that in my research. Try, try your best and uh, maybe point attention to the first equation on your, on your screen. So the question is, can you apply this to a product material that's different components? Or maybe not perovskite. What if you change your materials? Instead of perovskite, you use something different. Polymers. Conjugated polymers. Since it's dependent on potential and 
not necessarily the vivid properties of your materials, I would. But potential yeah. does depend or not depend on the intrinsic properties of materials. So, <laughs> so, so you depend on your material. <laughs> but you could like this. And so. can you return back where you're showing how you go from 3D atomic structure? It is here. I mean, the image. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, here, right? So, right, yeah, yeah. so uh, <coughs> who was making this plot? Actually, is it your? Did you simulate this uh, you, structure you or you from, took it from uh, somewhere? Provided by Dr. Han. By who? Dr. Han. Oh, okay. And how he was doing it, do you know? Did, did you ask him? No. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have a Maybe. vision? Can you explain how did you obtain this? This is from first principle. Okay. As a potential. From mass. Uh, do, do you think everyone, um, I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure not everyone knows what is what. <laughs> well, you need to, to apply a right, special code which allows you to calculate the Yes. With some approximations, you actually need to calculate the, to, to solve the so this equation. Is, this <laughs> is the, the um, electrostatic potential. Right? Um, so let's say you, you calculate the electrostatic potential from this wait, 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 and you project um, <laughs> on a two dimensional and use one dimensional. Yes. So it is uh, first principle data. Right. So you see, this is, you know, this care property is, is intrinsic to the property, uh, to the material that you're talking about, right? If you, instead of, um, if you replace, let's say, that of sky with something else, mm -hmm. the curve is going to be different. Yes. And then your final result is going to be different. And if the molecule is different, then probably yeah. you also will have slightly different shape for the right side for the potential, mm -hmm. same for the, I mean, yeah. Of course, very strongly depends on the material. <laughs> More questions? Let's uh, thank Kristen once again for extending the, the, the questions. <laughs> and now we are starting the. Uh